Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Forest Center TV video production program. I'm Jessica Humans. And I'm Joshua Wright. Here's the latest news from the Enterprise. On Wednesday, February 27th, St. Mary's County Superintendent Scott Smith was reappointed for another four years in office by the St. Mary's School Board. The chair of the school board, Karen Bailey, said the board members agreed Smith was the right person for the job. The chair board quoted, Dr. Smith has kept the best interests of the students and staff. The board was given until March 1st to decide whether or not to reappoint him, and at their February 27th meeting, they unanimously decided to keep Smith for another four years. Smith is currently under the 2017 contract, but a new contract has to be negotiated before June 30th this summer, the day before his next term begins. The St. Mary's School Board on Wednesday approved the fiscal 2020 operating budget of almost $225 million for the county's public school system assistant, or Assistant Superintendent of Fiscal Service, Services and Human Resources, Tammy McCourt, went through the same presentation that was presented at the last Board of Education meeting earlier this month. She said no changes have been made since then. The presentation showed a breakdown of the budget's 5% increase, or $10.3 million more than the fiscal 2019 budget. The increase was split into three sections, negotiated agreements and incremental costs for $7,984,021, safety and mental health. St. Mary's Waters hosts the most water column leases in the state, putting shellfish farmers and Chesapeake Bay conservationists at odds with some waterfront homeowners who say cages to grow oyster limit, limit their access to the water and ruin the views. The Maryland General Assembly is facing a number of oyster bills this session, mostly regarding sanctuaries and management. Two of those bills are seeking to boister the authority of waterfront property owners, allowing them to reject or permit certain shellfish operations in front of their homes. The homestead tax credit for county, commission, county residents was reduced from 5 to 3 percent in the county's draft 2020 budget after a split vote by the St. Mary's County Commissioners Tuesday afternoon. The state's homestead tax credit limits how much one's property tax bill on a primary home can increase each year at a cap of 10 percent. However, counties can choose to have a lower cap. With the 5% cap, property taxes were expected to generate $112.1 million of the county's $234 million total budget. The Hornets boys lost their smack title game. Down three points to Great Mills heading into the fourth quarter, things were still in a completely manageable position for the Thomas Stone Cougars in Wednesday night's Southern Maryland Athletic Conference Boys Basketball Championship game at St. Charles High School in Waldorf. But just 38 seconds into the final quarter, the Hornets had extended the lead by four and appeared on the cusp of running away with the conference crown. That did not happen, though as Stone responded with a 12-point run to take a lead, it would never relent and would ultimately end it in a 68-60 Cougars victory. In addition to the conference championship plaque, the Cougars took home the win, carried some extra significance in what it was the 400th career win for Stone head coach Dale Lamberth. This news brief has been provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's all we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Jessica Humans. And I'm Joshua Wright, signing off.